Hi, my name is Scott Ballard. I am here at the Albuquerque Film and Music Experience with my feature film, Death on a Rock. Death on a Rock is a narrative feature. It follows the story of Lillian and it jumps back and forth in time as Lillian experiences the end of her life. We flash back to the path that led her to where she's at and kind of guides us in why she makes certain decisions that she makes at the end of her life. Death on a Rock is my third narrative feature that I've written and directed and they all have um, something to do with death. So it's a little bit more of an intense film that I've made in the past and starting with my first feature, Welcoming Departure, was Death of a Stranger. My second feature, Staying Still, was Death of a Family Member. And with Death on a Rock, it's about the death of the self and exploring that through friends and family and how we respond to death. Um, it sparked some really interesting Q&A. Um, I didn't really expect that it would have such a profound impact on so many people and it's been really fun touring with the film and talking with people and people really open up about their experiences with end of life and, and with family members and friends so it's been a really strong impact and I feel like the story really resonates with a lot of people because of that personal connection that Death is something that we're all going to face. It's the common denominator of all humanity, and yet we're very, very scared to talk about it. And so I find with this film in particular, it really sparks that, that conversation that in general people don't really want to talk about or don't feel comfortable talking about. Um, so Death on a Rock takes place over a year in Lillian's life as she faces cancer and um, some relapses with it. and then. We kind of flash and see how that um, impacts her family, impacts her friends, impacts her life, um, both for, for good and for bad, of course. Um, so cleverly, I thought filming over three different phases to capture different um, season changes would be would be a great idea. So we shot in August, in October, and in January in Portland, Oregon, um, guaranteeing that I'd have some different looks to the seasons. In August it was sunny and beautiful. In October it was sunny and beautiful. And in January it was sunny and beautiful. So <laughs> we didn't end up getting the full uh, range of uh, climate change that you get, um, environmental change that you get in, in Oregon, but um, it turned out definitely for the best and it was a lot of fun filming it. A friend of mine says that the more depressing the subject matter, the more fun the set is. And so we had a brilliant time on set and we had so much fun. Um, and then, and then, you know, while also making a film that's very personal, that's very intense and um, that has to do with some very, very strong topics in it. But yeah, it was, it was an amazing experience.